All right, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes in social media. I'm Judson Powell. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the share button, hit the love button. Anyway, I want to talk about uh, the LBGT. I think hopefully I got the letters correct. And Dwayne Wade and um, and his uh, his son and some other things. And and basically, I got some I got some deep thoughts on this um, because you know I have. And don't get me wrong, I, I love everybody. I don't have I don't have any hatred in my heart towards any type of person or anything like that. I treat everybody the same and I do unto others as they would do unto me. I don't, you know, I live by the golden rule. I don't, you know, so let me preface that and there is no I'm not afraid, you know, the only thing <laughs> like I tell the only thing that I'm that I'm truly like really afraid of is heights. <laughs> so I'm I'm afraid of heights. That's the only thing that in in pretty much in this world that I'm like really truly afraid of. I don't like heights. So that's you know that's one thing. But um I'm I'm not afraid of gay people. I'm not afraid of uh transgender people. I'm not afraid of cross dressers or anything like that. But here's my problem. Right now um there seems to be a propaganda agenda to promote um you know deviant or you know whatever you however you want to say it um behavior sexually and especially towards african american males and children and i believe that that's wrong especially the thing with the children because at this point a child really you know, doesn't, I mean, they have really no clue about what they are, what they want to be, uh, their sexuality or anything. I know I didn't, I had no clue. I didn't know, you know, I didn't, I didn't have a pre. I didn't have a preference or anything. And basically, you know how most people are when they're, when they're young, what do they say? Oh, well, you know, girls are yucky or boys are yucky or whatever. And then next thing you know, they end up having 10 kids, right? So so let's not trip on that. And let's not say it's a phobia or anything like that because it, really it's not. Um, like I said, a phobia homo, is being afraid of something. And so that's, that's a misnomer and also just propaganda. Now, when it comes down to this whole thing about Dwayne Wade, now they got him circulating on the internet in front of the Nickelodeon sign. They got all of these, they got programs where they have cross dressers reading to little kids and all that kind of stuff. And I think that's, you know, it's inappropriate. It's just like giving a kid alcohol, you know? Okay, here, you know, yeah, well, he, he Jimmy has decided that he likes Jack Daniels. <laughs> so we're gonna give, we're gonna give little Jimmy all the Jack Daniels that he wants. No, you don't do that. That's that's ridiculous. You know, and I know the analogy is a little far fetched or whatever, but it's crazy. And basically, I believe that all this stuff is eroding our First Amendment rights. I believe that we we really don't have any First Amendment rights. Why? Because you can't say anything. And and I believe like even when Dave Chappelle uh, did his last special and he was talking about the letter people and all that kind of stuff and how easy it is, like they will crucify you. For saying something about uh, somebody who's homosexual or transgender or something like that, but I can walk around and call people racial slurs like the N word or other words, and I can get away with that, and nothing is said about it. And I and I really believe that a lot of that has to do straight up with the erosion of our First Amendment rights, because there there really is not free speech. If you say the wrong thing, and and now. They're like, they take people out the box like that. They don't care. Like if you say something, you know, immediately, like you lose your job, you lose your livelihood, you lose everything that you work for just because you made a comment. And I'm saying that's different from like, okay, like, let me, let me juxtapose this to the guy like, like Trump, like Trump should lose his job for, for talking about, oh, well, going to tell John Dingle's uh uh, widow that you know that you're going to uh, your husband went to hell because you voted to impeach me if and now that right there okay but he had but he's allowed to say it okay but if if i use a a word that's that's 
you know, toward or any type of phraseology or whatever that's negative towards anybody else, then all of a sudden I lose my job. I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, or and and especially if I'm a celebrity, then I'm all over. I'm all over the social media. Like, oh, well, this guy is hated or whatever. And there's a conscious effort of propaganda and a conscious agenda to make this stuff stand out. Like I said. You should not, you know, you, and especially I understand when it comes to, you know, to, to, you know, to grown folks. But when you start pushing this stuff on kids and like I said, they can, they have a picture of Dwayne Wade standing in front of the Nickelodeon sign. You know, everybody knows that Nickelodeon is a is, is like probably one of the most between they're one of the most recognizable, um, you know, things uh, as far as brands uh, for children. So why in the world would you want that to be there? And I'm just saying, let let children be children. Just let them be children. It's like, you know, don't, you know, but we, we have like right now, it's like we have a thing where we're pushing agendas on little kids who, who, who clearly at this point in their lives don't have the discernment to be able to pick out anything. Half of them can't even use the bathroom, right? You know, yeah. I got, look, I have seven children, all right? And in the various stages of development, and but but before they before they reach the age of accountability, you know, which which in most religions or whatever would be the age of 13. But before they reach that age, they 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 have very little um very little knowledge, very little wisdom. And so, and basically they're running off of, you know, and what we call, um, you know, their basic, you know, their basic energy and, and they just want what they want. They don't, they, at that point, you know, most kids do not have, you know, a discernment enough to be able to say, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm a, a homosexual cross dressing this that, and the other thing they don't have that kind of discernment and they, and to sit up there and say that they do is absolutely ridiculous because and the other thing is kids when they're at that age they go through various phases you know you know um I remember my sister she wouldn't eat she wouldn't even eat the only thing she ate she she might i think she ate jello for two years <laughs> you know because everything else was bad for you or or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? And even adults do that. So what you, you know, what you think you are, what you say, you know, oh, you know, I'm, you know, I was Batman for a while. (laughs) You know, I'm Batman. (laughs) Boom, you know. And and, okay, so say my parents would have went out and said, okay, my son wants to be recognized as Batman. (laughs) You know, his, his, or I will, you know, that's what I say. I like, I like to be recognized as the richest man in the world. And I like to be treated as such, you know, but it it ain't going to happen. And then all this political correctness and all that kind of stuff is making is making them so that they can't solve problems and they and they really they they don't ha- and like I said it's, it's more so about discernment they can't solve problems you know even even the, sometimes even the stuff with bullying and like like and once again I got to go back to Trump Trump is like the biggest bully ever but he's the president so if your kid watches Trump. And Trump is on there bullying people. He's made fun of. He's made fun of homeless people. He's made fun of women. He's made fun of handicapped people. He's made fun of dead people. He's made fun of young people. And so, then if if the pre, if, if everything starts at the top, then everything is fair game. Then, according to who our president is, everything should be fair game. You know, just like I mean. He he's on the he's on the internet on social media talking about people or anybody that doesn't like him. I mean, and and there's I'm probably there's probably no bigger child or whatever out there than him. He's a grown man, but he acts like a child. So what you want to recognize? So let's recognize the president as being an eight year old. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? And it has nothing. And and to, and to sit up there and talk about people, oh, you're homophobic or you're this, that, and the other thing, that that could be further from the truth. But you have the right. And everybody, oh, the other thing is, everybody has the right to their own preferences. If you don't like homosexuals, that's your choice. You know, it's just like, you don't, you know, if I don't like, you know, just like I hate the color, I don't like red. 
<laughs> get my wife will tell you. I, I very rare, and my, my kids go to a school and the colors at the school are red and white. And I can't stand it. It's bad because <laughs> I don't like those colors. I mean, I just, I, I like white. It's okay. But the red, I just don't, I don't know. It just bothers me. You know, for some reason, it just, it's just a, uh, you know, it's just, it's just, but it's a personal preference. Ain't nothing, and I don't hate the color or nothing like that. It just, it just not for me. You know, it's just like, it's just like, um, like, like, uh, Brussels sprouts or, or liver, you know, just like how people tell you, oh, you know, well, my, my grandma fries it like this and puts it in this, that, and the other thing, put some gravy and some onions on it. And I'm not going to eat no liver because I don't like it. it. It is not, I'm not liver, I'm not liver phobic. I've tried it. You know, I just don't like it. You know, it's whatever, but I'm not going, but I'm not going to sit up there and be like, oh, you know, and hide my feelings. Oh, well, you know, <laughs> you know, liver, liver is okay. Liver is not okay with me. All right. It may be okay with you. That's fine. And that's your choice. That's your preference. My ex-wife love liver. You know, maybe that's why we're, she's my ex-wife. Maybe we could get, maybe we had liver issues or whatever. I don't know. But I'm just trying to tell you, it's like there's certain things that people don't like. And you have a right to like what you like and not like what you don't like. If you don't like homosexuals, you have a right not to like homosexuals. That's your choice. That's your preference. Every, and everybody should have it equally. You know, as long, and as long as you don't bother, it's just like, I don't care if they're homosexuals as long as they don't come in my house. As long as they don't, you know, as long as they don't try to infringe on my rights. And, you know, you can just like they're, they're, they're what all those Trump people that are walking around that, that support Trump. I don't support Trump, but I ain't, you know, I ain't going to beat them up or nothing like that because they do. Or I don't go around, you know, I don't go around bashing them or yelling at them or stuff like that. Like some of these, some of these Trump supporters do to people who are just like walking down the street, but I don't bother them. In fact, I was riding today and a guy had a, had a, had a make America great hat in, in his back window and a Trump sticker. And I was just like, you know, it just, it just informs me that the guy is an idiot, right? <laughs> which is probably, which is probably political. That's politically incorrect. You can't call him an idiot or whatever, but come on, y'all. We, we, we are way, way as a society, we are way too sensitive, you know, and with all this stuff. But like I said, my main concern is let's stop pushing it as an agenda because it is being pushed as an agenda and like i said it's been, you know they got they got all these pictures i see pictures all the time of 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 uh young black guys you know made up like women in women's attire all that kind of stuff and then everybody you know even even the vice president got you know got pictures of him you know dressed up like a chippendale dancer hugging up on some on uh, some homosexuals all right and 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 to me Personally, I, I I don't like that, it, and you know, and I would never I would never sit up there and say, oh well, yeah. He, I mean, he has the right to do it, and I guess what I look at, and this is the thing that I always say, I may not agree with everything that you say and do, but I agree that you have the right to say and do it. Just don't inf infringe or impose your right on somebody else. And, it, and it's the same thing for religion. That's why that's why I'm against religion, because religion says if you don't do everything the same way that everybody else does, then the consequence is you're going to hell or whatever. I'm not going to say that because I don't know where those people are going to go. I don't know. I, ha I don't have I don't own a heaven or a hell to put anybody in. You know, I can't even say that about homosexuals. I can't say, oh, well, because you're a homosexual, you're going to go to hell. I can't even say that because I don't know. But I just know that that lifestyle personally is not for me, you know, but if it is for you, fine, but just don't impose it on my children. You know, don't take my child, don't take my, one of my children to a library and have some, you know, transgender person or some cross dressing person reading to my child talking about your, you know, you're enlightening them. It's the same thing with, with things like sex and all that kind of stuff. Don't teach my child about sex. I know how, I know what to say and what not to say to my children. Right. All right. So that's all. I, and that's basically all I want to say, because it's eroding our first amendment rights. You know, let children be children, you know, stop trying to, you know, put all this stuff on there and stop 
telling people, oh, you can't say this and you can't say that. Because sometimes certain things need to be say, said in certain situations. They need to be said. And, and now people are so afraid to say anything that, you know, that we just go further and further into the mire, into the muck and into the abyss. Anyway, fastest 15 minutes on the internet, fastest 15 minutes on social media. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the love button.